Today, we're going to look at what's probably the second best pair of legs in the Street Fighter universe. And no, I'm not talking about that giant bear fucker Zangief. But instead, Capcom's favorite short-skirted sweetheart, Sakura. Ah, yes, it's the dress. Now, if somehow you didn't know this obvious information, she's dressed like Popeye in drag because she's supposed to be a fighting high school student. Honestly, I don't know why these motherfuckers are so obsessed with sailor suits for schools. Maybe all of them idolized Donald Duck or some shit, I don't know. Of course, the reason we love her so much is because of that winning panties. Now, if you want to lie to yourself and act like the first thing you think about when you hear Sakura is not panties, then you go ahead and say that untruthful shit. But at FGB, honesty is the best policy. And I honestly believe you on some bullshit. God damn. I wish you could actually play the damn game at this angle. Like a back of her leg view. Let me just pretend I'm her calf muscle and shit. To tell you the truth though, this is the only part of Sakura that screams girl. Because the rest of us screams <laughs> like these sneakers right here are straight <laughs> and that haircut is totally <laughs> bitch your knees are <laughs> for real. Like on the damn select screen, it took me about 10 minutes to find out who the fuck was Ryu and who was Sakura. Let's see, headband, bad haircut, headband, bad haircut, headband, ah, here she is, ah oh, fuck. What's weirder is that they're both back in Alpha 3, but somehow she just basically graduated high school while Ryu turned into some middle aged ass homeless man, instead of a teenage ass homeless man. And while we at it, nigga buy a new karate suit, you look poor as hell. The shit all torn up, and we know your ass ain't got a license, you cheap bitch. Walking and shit into the sunset. Fuck out of here. It's just nobody want to give your smelly ass a ride. Instead of walking 50,000 fucking miles aimlessly, you need to step into a new you and shave your eyebrows. Matter of fact, just kill yourself. Anyway, back to Charles over here. Or at least that's what she looked like. So even with them tomboyish ass looks, she still try to show that she know how to pop that ass. Even if it's in the goofiest way possible. What the fuck kind of kick? Her ass act like she fighting Yao Ming and shit. Who the fuck designs a kick to hit the top of a nigga head? Well, of course, during that ridiculous display of fraudulent karate practice, you get exactly 34 frames of schoolgirl butt. It's not exactly like my shoestring panties, but it's most definitely some male order butt. Like economy class ass. General booty. To tell you the truth, almost all of her kicks show what's underneath that skirt. Even this piece of shit kick right here. Damn, that's some worthless shit. It's just that some versions show a style that's a little more real and another version that shows what she would look like in Minecraft. So I even like that little high kick animation in German suplex and rival schools and shit, but I still might take the drawing over the polygons. Just saying. See, the panties is all blackalized. Maybe when they invent Lego porn, I might... Fuck out of here. I ain't watching no goddamn Lego porn. When they updated her, they gave her more recognizable flesh and a little anime cartoon opening. <laughs> was a blast with the most irritating voice possible she should take some fashion tips from belt face over here and buckle her mouth shut also she takes karate lessons from this human penis otherwise known as dan so that's a deal breaker but even with all that you can't resist her charming attitude date 25th weather sunny that is until she speaks then you want to go kill her instinct on a bitch and give her Orchid booty. But because those nasty motherfuckers at Capcom just happen to give us angles like this and this, Sakura always stays on our mind like that wannabe Ryu headband that she rocks. And you wanna know why we really love her? It's cause of this shit right here, nigga. Oh yeah! <laughs> That's the most funky shit ever. I don't give a fuck how dough your kin is. You cannot fuck with the shoe swag. Go on, turn up with your silly ass. <laughs> now let's smack this crazy cross dresser with a grade. Sakura gets a nine. From the way she moves, you would think that she was made of only legs and panties, which is hot as hell. But unfortunately, her hairstyle went transgender, and you wish her mouth had an on-off switch that was stuck on off. Still, all that shit under her skirt makes me want to give her the Sheng Long. So let that be a lesson. If you happen to be a girl that idolizes a man, just make sure you want to be like him and not pee like him. Also, if he doesn't wear shoes, ever, then you should probably start researching new ways for financial independence. You do not want to be out there uppercutting niggas for sandwiches. Peace. Okay, don't let her get out the damn car and start this movie. 
Damn, there's a lot of shit against this movie. Did Capcom sign off on this shit? Oh, here come the car now. Okay, hey, hey. Ah, shit, I won! Yes, if you were blonde, buxom, and sometimes flew in an intergalactic spaceship, there was a good chance that your ass was getting some high grades. Which kind of made me feel like The Walking Dead could use some more shots of girls taking a break to finger themselves while they save the world. Except for Carol.